is going on guys it's your boy wheelie and holy crap i'm back you guys um guys if you follow me on social media which is twitter instagram um yes twitter instagram um among youtube here of course you guys know that i have been inactive for a little bit with some te uh, tweeting here and there and pictures um of something that was going on in my in, you know to me the past two weeks um if you don't follow me on twitter and instagram make sure you go look in the description down below i got my links down there make sure you go check it out because when i'm not uploading it's not because i don't want to upload there's something going on in my life and i always go to twitter and instagram to let you guys know so you guys aren't here waiting and waiting so make sure you go follow me on twitter you guys and on Instagram, you can see my lovely face every day. And while we're at it, make sure you hit that like button down below, so you could give me a little more prayers, you know, and uh, more welcomes. Uh, because what happened the past two weeks has been a doozy. And as always, hit that subscribe button for more Pokemon Let's Plays and Nuzlocks here on the channel. I know we haven't had some in a while, uh, but that's I'm gonna get to the explaining that. Right now, this what this video is. This video is more about an update on what's been happening this past month and all that fun stuff. But yeah, you guys. So a, a few weeks ago, about two or three weeks ago, you guys, um, I, I did my regular recordings and I was posting them, in, posting them, not posting them, in, but I was posting them. And then I think it was a Thursday. I was doing fine and. Uh, you guys probably already know what's going to go on in this video through to the thumbnail, I'm sure. But it was Thursday. I was playing some, you know, some Overwatch with some friends. And then I was going to get to editing um, the last video that you guys saw. It was the very last video, the very last video before this one. It was episode 28, I think. We caught Lugia. Spoiler alert, if you haven't watched it, we got a Lugia. But... I was going to go into editing that, and I just felt lethargic and just not myself. Um, and I told myself, you know what? I'm going to go to bed. I'll edit it in the morning. Um, but throughout the night, it just was not getting better. And um, I was just getting worse and worse. Now, is this wasn't scary worse, you guys. I just, when I, when I felt, went to bed, I just felt like odd. Oh, like, I just wasn't feeling myself. And then I kept waking up. I was just shivering a bit. Headaches. Um, and some some pain near the back of my abdomen. Near my backside. Um, and I woke up Friday. Just had, like, m m minor headaches. They're not really big. And some, some you know, fevers. Um, there weren't big fevers and all that. But there were fevers. And uh, I tried to... I know that I had to go to the doctor. Um, I couldn't make an, like an appointment because I don't really have a doctor. Um, I usually just see a regular specialist for something like this. And so I was like, well, he won't be able to see me today and I'm not bad, but I, I just, I have to go check me out. So I went to the hospital, to the ER thinking that I, I'm just going to have something minor and I'll go home with some meds. And I know what you guys are saying, weekly. Yes, I am. But yeah, because I went to the ER and I went there thinking that I was just going to have some minor, like, because I, I was having pain in my kidney. I'm known for having um, bad infections in my kidney. It's just something that I uh, have been growing, growing up with, so I'm used to. I usually I'll go to the ER. If I don't go to the doctor, they'll get there and say, hey, yeah, here's some meds. I did have one time where it, like, it was just really bad and it just... It's a whole different story. Um, but most of the time, I get home, sent home with antibiotics. Um, so, I, and those most of the times, the symptoms are the exact same thing. And if you guys are wondering why I couldn't wait for the doctor to see me, it's it, it's simple. Um, I have I I fall well. I have sepsis. If you guys don't know, that is something where when you get sick and your body's trying to fight off the sickness, sometimes it overreacts. So once I get really high fevers, it's better off to go to the hospital because 
my body is starting to overreact to whatever sickness is trying to fight and then instead of helping it's making me worse like it makes my organs um start swelling and all that it's no bueno i already went into septic shock once it was not fun but that's a different story you guys if you want to know more about that you should look it up um but yeah you guys um i uh went to the hospital thinking everything's gonna be okay I think it's just gonna go home with some meds and next thing I know it's five days later and I'm still in the hospital you guys um, I was in isolation I thought what was minor wasn't that minor and uh, I was sent home like five six days later but not home home thinking I was like yes I'm out of the clear I was actually sent home with a midline IV if you guys don't know it's an IV that goes in your arm and goes all the way up to here I just got it removed like a couple days ago so it's a proof you guys I mean look at it. all that bruising is just from the IV and I, I I can't show you too much because the lighting in here is terrible um, there was another IV when I was in the hospital but with that midline IV I could not do anything like I could have put pressure on my arm because it was just so much pain like I could move it like like this and like this but when I moved it too much because it was in like a muscle it was just so sore and I just did not feel like recording I still did not feel myself and so that's where I've been doing for the past two weeks almost two and a half weeks guys I'm so sorry that I haven't been posting I always feel that my health is more important than having to feel like having to record having to feel like posting videos even just speaking on social media those videos that you saw on Instagram was just me on days that I felt I, I felt good enough to talk um, but I just always put my health first and yeah you guys it was a rough rough road uh, but I am here um, I am way better than I was two and a half weeks ago what was I think what was more scary is that oh that's my niece you guys my niece uh, if you don't know I'm watching well my fam is watching the niece for the moment to my sister finding a babysitter but <laughs> scared the crap out of me I was like who, who dropped the baby I know I didn't drop the baby but yeah guys uh, that's what's been happening I, I, I just want to let you guys know I'm okay and uh, more videos are going to be coming up next week I'm taking the rest of this week off this should be going up on Friday, so hopefully, hopefully Monday or Tuesday, you guys are going to get a new episode of the uh, Advanced Invasion Notes like that. We're reaching so close to the end. It almost feels like it doesn't want it to end because every time I get it to end, something always happens. Um, I did not expect to get this sick, you guys. Like, this was just, wow. I mean, to have to see my family members come into my hospital room wearing a suit to see me, it was just... It hurt a little bit, um, you know, knowing that I need to start taking care of myself a little more. So, yeah, you guys, thank you so much for those who tweeted at me and hit me up on Instagram telling me to get better. I appreciate it. I appreciate, appreciate, appreciate it. The love there was enormous. And like I said, if you don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you go to follow me on Twitter down below. Um, but, yeah, you guys, I'm a okay, And we're going to be back to regular schedule soon. I'm Willie, and I'm rolling out. Peace.